Hello and welcome on, once again to my 11 plus exam videos. Um, these questions are from the CEM tests. So these are the 11 plus CEM tests. You will see they are a mix of verbal, non-verbal reasoning and there will be some maths also. So it's a very mixed up thing. So um, I'll try to work it out. Uh, I've taken these from the CGP books. Okay, they're lovely books great questions and uh, so let's get started so we have they have timed it at 10 minutes I don't know if I'll be able to do them within 10 minutes uh, but we'll have a go okay but you will have to do it and the only way to get there is practice and uh, do lots of reading and uh, you know lots of practice with maths and English and everything so that things come to you naturally you don't really have to spend a lot of time thinking because you do not have the thinking time so the first one is fill in the missing letters to complete the words in the following um, uh, passage okay so bears display several so it is traits okay so T R A I Yes, traits that make them interesting to study. For one thing, most species of bears are omnivores. So omnivores means they eat, you know, meat and vegetables. So they eat. Uh, this word obviously is combination. Combination of meat and vegetation. They are also solitary. S O L I T A R Y solitary creatures living alone for much of their lives. In winter, black, brown, and grizzly bears can sleep for over 100 days without waking. This helps them to conserve energy, and they do this by. A state called torpor that is similar to hibernation. Despite these adaptations, many bear populations have fallen in recent years as damage befalls their habitats. Polar bears in the Arctic are threatened. T H R E A T E N E D by global warming, which is melting the ice caps they live on. Giant pandas have also been at risk. Bamboo, which makes up 99% of their diet, won't be able to grow if temperatures on Earth continue to rise. Fortunately, conservation plans have been put in place to help protect these bears and prevent them from being extinct. These efforts seem to be working. Giant pandas have recently made a comeback in the wild and they are no longer endangered. Endangered. Okay, so as you will notice, this passage is solely based on the environment and uh, global warming and temperature change and that kind of a thing. It's a very, um, like, um, how do I say, it's very uh, what is more relevant today. So if you read things more that are happening in today's world, you know, uh, more about, um, you know, read magazines and papers and whatever you can get your hands on. Read something, you know, not just uh, watch the um, watch news, just read it. So if you read the news more instead of just watching it, maybe, you know, so that you, you these words just come to you. Otherwise, it's difficult to sit and think. So we'll go to the next one. So this one is... Um, uh, again, we have to be quick with these. So we'll try and think. So I have the answers with me that is helping me, but you will not have them. So um, 
uh, you need to do the practice but once you the more you practice the more you will get at least you will get most of it correct don't do use guesswork because it, it doesn't help much not all the time you know i mean it has to be very cleverly guessed but even then it could be wrong but anyway let's get it so work out which which of the option best fits in place of the missing x again and then read so this i think is quite easy as you can understand this is one dot there are two dots there are three there are four dots and there are one two three four five six dots so there has to be six dots so we have to pick one with six dots which one has six dots this is five this uh, i'm sorry five dots so now this has five this has five and this is five so this is ruled out now we have to look at the line so look at the line straight it's done done it's like a clock isn't it so the other one has to be this so it has to be i think b so the answer is 11b okay so the next one is again a very similar question uh, now we have to look at these uh, now it has to be a pattern which is the black which is straight because and if you look at these sides it's like you know they make a pattern going up this and this and this and this is the pattern so now is which color so we have the straights we have one we have two we have three so which one should it be so we have a way to think next we have to think now this is the gray gray shades are two white is three so definitely it has to be gray shade so it's not b it can't be b so it's either c or d now out of c and d which one so one side is black so it has to be the other side black so the right side has to be black which has right side black c so your answer is c okay the next one is 13 the 13 is again similar but it looks very complex at when you just look at it but if you think about it now what they have done is I think it's more to do with the crosses um, you know it's going like um, this way now that's the pattern so this will be this will have three little squares and the, uh, the, the colors will change to gray here and now it's going to turn so it could be this or this or this either of these okay now which of these is going to be so it's going to be it can't be this so it's either c or d now which is which is it c or is it d it will be now how is it turning if you look at this and this it's like it's turning whether you say clockwise or anti-clockwise it is turning clockwise i think it's turning a 180 degree turn it's this turn straight turn so it it's i don't know how to show it but um but i can i can see it in my <laughs> sort of it's um if you have a, this shape so if you turn it it will be this this shape you see what i mean so this shape becomes this so it's 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 d isn't it so do you see what i mean i think you do so the answer is d so we have d here the next one is uh look at how uh, how these figures have changed and then work out which option would look like the third figure if you changed it in the same way right okay so how has it changed first of all the triangle has three sides three sides have changed to four sides one two three four five has changed to one two three four five six so one two three four five six so six will change to seven so which has seven one two three four five six seven 
So the answer is either A or D. Which one is it? The next one, let's look. The inside one, the black ones, this is decreasing. So it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's a hexagon. It's changed to pentagon. So this is a rhombus. It will change to a triangle. The answer is A. Okay. Uh, then we have this one, um, which is we have a, hmm, what do we have here? We have a, a small, the two shapes are uh, same, okay, but however, one is smaller, one is larger, the smaller one is front, the larger, and in the next the smaller one goes back so this is what and it's turning there's a turn so it's turning like anti-clockwise 90 degree quarter turn so if that's the case then the smaller one has to go behind so, so it's not d it's either of a b c now which one is it it's not this because it's not turned it has to turn anti-clockwise it's this way so it's c Anticlockwise turn, you notice the turn? It's an anticlockwise turn, isn't it? So this, your answer is going to be C. The number 16, what is happening is, um, the, the, you see, the, the shading is changing. They've changed the shades and also have they it's is are they moving i think there is an element of moving as well if you look at this shape now this one has changed sides gone behind turned gray lots of things have happened here so um if you look at here it's the same thing so this is this is now this it's like that so the small one will be gray that uh, that much is decided the small one has to be gray so oh, 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 I think it's this the small one gray the next is a turn so it is going at there is uh, yeah it, it is a turning isn't it it is sort of a clockwise turn I think if I may say so so there is a turn you will see that this is the answer first of all first the first thing the spot is which one is gray the smaller one turns gray okay so look at this so in all of these the smaller one is white this one probably is no no it's it's not kind of both half but it's i think c is the easier way to um to think it that way and then it's standing so c is your answer here that's the way i'm explaining it this is my explanation i'm not taking it from the book at all i'm not even going to what the book says but this is my explanation this is the way i would uh, work it out if i was and that i am working it out and that's why this is how i'm doing it and trying to get to the answer so this is how I'm thinking. So I'm just explaining to you what I'm thinking. If you have a different way of logic and if that works and if you can get to the correct answer, please go by that. Do not, you do not have to follow what I'm doing here. Okay, but the answer has to be correct. So, okay, then this one is, and what is going on is we have, it's movement up and down, isn't it? So we have the hexagon is going up the heart comes down circle goes up again hexagon comes down and the colors also interchange so the gray and black and now we have the black circle and uh, instead of and the gray so the bottom ones remain gray the colors the, uh, the shapes change and the colors remain go with the shapes how do I say it? No, 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 no. So if the bottom is gray, the bottom remains gray. See, it's gray and black, so it will be gray and black. So it's changing. So it's white and white, so it will be white and white at the bottom. So it's either D or A. Either of the two is your answer. So which one is going to be? 
So it's heart and heart. So both the hearts have to be at the top. Yeah, both hearts are at the top. Great. Okay, now the... So it is going to be gray and black. So A is your answer. Gray and black. Okay, 17A. So the next one is, I'm only already above time, but it doesn't matter. I just want to do my little explaining, <laughs> whether it's, um, uh, it may seem a bit silly, but I will do it. So this one is number 18. Work out which set of blocks can be put together to make the 3D figure on the left. So we have to think which of these blocks are present. So it's one, this one one there's another one three same blocks i think this is a 18a okay so a is your answer here 19 which block is there so 19 we have one thick put here one thick block this is the small one. This is a big one going through. This is what it is. So this small block, this is smaller than this. And this one would, would come here. And the bigger one would fit in here going through. So that's why D is, your, uh, is the answer. So it's 19D. Then for 20, again, we will have small... So we will have, I think, three. So it's this and the long side, and then this, the long side, and this, and this one is here, and the small one is here. B is your answer. Okay, 21. 21 is, uh, I have 1, 2. No, but this is not 1, 2. Sorry, this is like the L shape, the L1. So this is one L I have. This is the other one I have. And this is the small. So it's made up of three. So it's, it's this one is 1, 1. This is my two, this is my two, and this is my three, this is my three. Okay, so D is my answer. Well, see that? So D is my answer. So hopefully that completes it. And um, please have a go. Try getting it, doing it yourself. And uh, I will do more of these. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. And please like and subscribe if you find these useful. Thank you.